Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video we're going to go through the new banner and a couple other things too, the season pass and some other updates, just to kind of tidy it all up into one thing. So the first thing I want to go over is the season pass, and all I really want to say is this. If you are a light spender, this is probably the best bang for your buck that you're going to get. Uh, better than any of the promotional stuff even they come out with. Yeah, like... 300 you know red crystals for a 10 draw with a five star guaranteed this is still better than that yes it costs a little bit more 14 dollars, but you get so much out of it on average you get about three times more stuff as far as like choco boosters memory vouchers grindstone chunks all the stuff you get up here uh large you know materia enhancers you get three times more uh with the the paid pass the other thing you get Probably the most important thing you get is this weapon voucher. This is the second month in a row that they've offered this. And I, I got one from last month. In fact, if I, I can tell you, if I buy this pass this month, this is going to be the number one reason I would buy it. Because you literally get to pick a five-star weapon for any character out of, you know, not the, you know, certain event exclusive ones or whatever. But you get the idea. Um, that is just invaluable for your teams and then the second thing you get is an extra 4500 crystals which again i mean that's pretty good value and then obviously the gear voucher if that's something you need that's good too um three times as many memory vouchers is a big deal and honestly for this particular one i think this is the best looking wallpaper like i really really like what they did here uh they've got all the ladies like it's just really cool, and I think they it's really well done. Um, so yeah, just wanted to touch on that real briefly. The other thing is I did want to look at the new event weapon real briefly as well. Um, it's I can tell you it's it's nothing super fancy. It's essentially the same thing that uh, Tifa got here with the oven mitts, only it's called Giant Fork, and uh, yeah, it's for Matt. So it you know. An OB-10, uh, potency low, max potency mid, physical attack increase on a single ally. Uh, boost HP, boost physical defense, which, you know, there was a point in time when I was pretty excited about these boosts. At this point, it's getting a little bit played out that every single weapon that we get for an event basically has these stats. Um, I think the last good one was the Christmas, the canes and stuff that, and the cheermeister thing that Cloud got. Those were really awesome. So... I'm hoping that we kind of get back to something really good like that in the future. Uh, but for now, like I said, this is basically the same thing Tifa has, only on Matt. So if you're more of a Matt user in your party, or if you want to be able to use him the same way that, you know, you're using Tifa, you can. Uh, I think I think it's just fine. I'm glad they, they added it in. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the banner. I just want to say that, you know, uh, there was a lot of, I guess strong opinions on the Yuffie banner and a lot of people had really strong opinions on whether to skip or whether to pull. Personally, I skipped for a couple of reasons. Um, the deciding factor was that I think there's something better coming down the line, you know, as far as a rebirth type, you know, event banner. But also for me, Yuffie is not somebody that I have built. I did not want to start over with her. Um, just not where I am uh, with the game. But this banner is quite different because I do use Aerith and I suspect that a lot more people use Aerith than Yuffie. And when they do use her, it's more of a must use due to the healing. Now, obviously they've been expanding, you know, who can heal and how those roles can be worked, right? Uh, with, you know, the weapons that are giving this... Uh, you know, cure all in the third materia slot, etc. But, um, you know, Aerith still is, if you need a real healer, right? Uh, if you need big heals, especially big AOE heals, Aerith still, I think, is, is pretty high up there. Her and Matt, probably hard to beat. Um, so, first I'll look at the floral gown. It's it's much harder for me to make a decision on this one. The, the buff debuff extension, I think, is really nice because at 10 points, uh, you're looking at 40%. And, you know, I think that that's a pretty big deal, 
especially because Aerith has a couple of big ways to buff and a couple of big ways to debuff. So that could be super helpful. I, I don't think it's a must have, but that's where I'm a little bit torn on to as to whether I want to go for it or not. As far as the looks of it go, um, I don't know. Like, I think it looks fine. I, that's, that's about where I'm going to go with it. It looks fine. I don't particularly care for it. I don't think it's the greatest thing we've seen. I wouldn't even put it, you know, in the top two, but it looks fine. Okay. And so then that leaves us with Floral Wand. And I'll be honest, I really like this. Um, you know, straight out of the box, physical defense decrease, potency mid. That's pretty good just right there, to be honest with you. Um, but then the 50% HP threshold, right? If she has more than 50% HP, also lowers wind resist by a potency of low, which stacks to a potency of mid. That's right out of the box. It also gives wind potency and boosts attack. So I think, you know, we were all obviously speculating that there was going to be a wind breach coming because those new crisis dungeons, they had... Um, you know, bonus abilities or buffs that you could take after defeating the symbol bosses that would allow, you know, the wind, like wind down duration up or whatever, something along those lines that really hinted at, hey, you're going to get a wind breach. Uh, I thought it would be the last banner. I thought they would want to give that to Yuffie because she's new. Obviously, they gave her an Arcanum, which I'm sure for a lot of you, uh, you're really happy about that. I think this would have been better, obviously, on Yuffie. Uh, because then she would have had a fourth breach in her kit. Uh, and she seems to be kind of, to me, her kit lends itself to being a debuffer. So uh, I think it's a shame that they didn't give it to Yuffie. Uh, I also think it's a shame that they waited so long to, to release this. Because if we look at uh, Crisis Dungeons, we only have three days left to try to complete this with an S+, plus, if that's something you need. And, you know, I'm not worried about it, but I feel like it's even more geared towards trying to make people do an impulse uh, purchase or impulse pulls. I don't know. However, I do want a copy of this weapon. Um, it, it fits in nicely. I also actually really like this, right? It gives a 30% wind ability damage boost on a weapon that also has boost wind potency like wow that's really good that is really good uh and then all cure spells which really allows us to open up Aerith and still have her be a healer if we need but then also start to be more of a main debuffer maybe or a you know more of a dedicated buffer something different i you know this is this is good and or maybe even a damage dealer if that's the way you like to you know play Aerith with magic attack builds um except for this weapon is physical attack so it's a little bit weird there but i think it's really good at ob6 uh we're looking at you know it, it still only goes to max potency of mid for the physical defense de uh, decrease but the wind resist starts at high and that's what we're really pulling this weapon for right um you know basically ob6 Potency high out, you know, out the gate. That is extremely good. Um, I think that's what I want it for. And even, even though, even here though, honestly, I would take this and I would be just fine. And I'm wondering because it's high potency at, at OB6, if once you get it to OB1, if this doesn't change to potency mid, uh, something I would expect something similar to that. So um, I have not decided exactly how much I'm going to pull, but I am going to pull for this. Um, I think it's that good. Uh, it works for me. And yes, I could wishlist it later, but it's got a rate up. I have a guaranteed ability to get it. And I do think because wind is my main thing that I'm lacking on my current teams, and because this doesn't require me to build up anybody else that I don't already have built, it makes total sense. So that's how I would evaluate this banner for everybody. If your win team is similar to mine, if you either have, you know, no uh, wind users or you have one or two, if you have Sephiroth's outfit 
or if you have motor drive or dark heavens you know leveled a little bit or, or starred if that's what you're doing but you don't have you know the over the top level of wind i i think that this weapon is is awesome the only thing there's left for me to decide is whether or not i'm going for the costume i think the answer is most likely going to be no for the same reasons i didn't go in on yuffie I do think that there is going to be a big banner, and I think it's going to be in about two weeks. Um, so with that being said, uh, I'm going to think about it, but I will put out a video where I do my pulls, and by that time, I will have made a decision. Uh, I would expect to do my pulls probably within the next 48 hours. I'll have that decision made. So let me know what you guys think about this banner. Uh, are you happy to see this? Are you sad? Did anybody who pulled on Yuffie regret pulling on it? because of this banner maybe like if they knew they were both coming would you have waited or are you perfectly happy i just like to know what your thoughts are subscribe for future content if you're not already i appreciate each and every one of your support and as always thanks for watching